This is year 14 of Tom Walter, Larry, and it it took him seven years to make the NCAA tournament. He's been to one super regional in his time here. How on earth did he get this program to a place where they have number one next to their name currently? Well, I think what he really did was he had a great long-term vision with what the pitching lab could do for his program and how they could make that a central part of the way that they recruit and the way they build their staff. They've always had tremendous hitting. It's a small ballpark. They recruit big left-handed hitters that can hit the ball out all over the place. Defense has been a bit suspect. Pitching has been a bit suspect through the years. And then about five or six years ago, they made the commitment to a new part of the facility that was dedicated to pitching. And I think it's pretty obvious when you're leading the nation by almost a full run in ERA, it's pretty obvious that the plan is working. What can you tell me about the background of the pitching clock or the the, the pitching lab, I should say? that people might not understand just how unique it is or rare it is to Winston-Salem and to the Wake baseball program? Well, the key to the whole thing really is the staff because anybody can buy, if, if you can afford it, anybody can buy the cameras, anybody can buy the technology, anybody can put it up and get the pictures. But assembling the staff that uh, has come in to run it. Dr. Kristen Nick, uh, Nicholson is just amazing. She does a tremendous job. Mike McFerrin runs things down there from the baseball perspective. Capturing motion, making pitchers get the most out of their bodies, first of all. And then Corey Muscara, the pitching coach, puts that information together with the little pieces of how do we make the ball spin, how can we make it spin differently, and then taking it to the field and saying, this is how we're going to use your selection of pitches in game situations has been the complete package this year, along with a, a, a boatload of talented kids. And it Larry basically Sorensen. comes down to the kids. Yeah, Larry Sorensen's with us here on WSJS. While we're talking pitchers, where does Rhett Louder rank among pitchers you've seen here in Winston-Salem? Best I've seen, not necessarily the best arm, Josh. I, you know, there have been some kids, uh, Ryan Cusick, for example, the Braves' number one pick a couple of years ago. Just strictly stuff, probably has better stuff. But Lauder has a combination of uh, brains, first of all. He understands himself very, very well. He's tremendous to watch pitch because he can throw three different pitches, any situation, any count. You never know what's coming next. So for an ex-pitcher like myself, you know, it's obviously a lot of fun to watch. And to me, Rhett Lauder is the kind of guy that doesn't just get to the big leagues because of great stuff and flame out. He's the guy that gets a 10, 12-year career. I want to go back to something I said earlier, the fact that Tom Walters in year 14, he hasn't been past the Super Regional round. Wake Forest hasn't been to Omaha since they won the College World Series, the ACC's first baseball um, national championship in 1955. Uh, Wake Forest won for them. Um, how do you begin to set expectations for Wake Forest given the checkered you know, history in the NCAA tournament over the last dozen to 14 years? But also, you know, right now, being hands down the best team in the ACC and garnering the number one ranking? Well, there's really only one expectation, and that's win in Omaha. You know, that's the goal, and it's not let's get to Omaha. It's we've got the talent to win at Omaha. And it's it's confident, not cocky. It's not overbearing, but, but there's a feel amongst these young men that they believe that they have the talent in all the different areas, not just in one or two particular areas, but overall baseball, to be able to go out there and win the whole thing. And the coaching staff has seen a lot of teams that have gone out there and won, and they believe the same thing. Watch Larry, 6 o'clock, Wake Forest, UNCG. Getting to the majors real quickly. Have you had a chance to watch Tampa yet? I've talked with some of their people. I haven't had much opportunity, just a couple Man. of games to watch them, but they're on a very nice roll. Oh, last night was the first time I watched a full game of theirs. They were playing my Orioles. And man, when you get a chance to watch them, let me know because the what they have on defense and their pitchers, it's it's all absurd. And I don't remember the last time we've seen a, a singular team in that sport separate itself so early on. I mean, Larry, they are seven games better than anybody else in the American League, five games better than anybody else 
in baseball, and we're only a month into the season. There's not much time for that separation. Well, it's really interesting because in his press conference after Sunday's game here at Wake Forest, Tom Walter said, look at the major leagues, look at the World Series. By the time you get into the playoffs and everything else, it's pitching and defense at that point in time. And uh, they've understood that here. And obviously the Rays have done a magnificent job getting people from all over the place to step up and raise their game. And they did it with their pitching and with the way that they're able to find unique profiles of pitchers that have fit the mold and have become a little bit better than they had been earlier in their careers. Larry, have some fun tonight. Uh, I look forward to seeing you out at the ballpark sometime soon. Thanks for doing this. All right, Josh. Good to see you.